on next with us is Eric Brown. Eric Brown is our fitness um, expert. He's going to show us some simple exercises that we can do at home to stay fit. Over to you, Eric Brown. Thank you, Farron. Okay, this morning, well, you're welcome to the fitness segment, all right? So we're gonna be doing, as usual, simple exercises that you can do on the go, all right? Just things that are very simple, because you know, the fitness, the fitness industry has, there's, a, there's been a paradigm shift. We we'll move from the old days of, you know, just regular aerobics to the time when we just move more, do things that will challenge you a little bit more, okay? Because the more you challenge yourself, the better you get, the better you become, the healthier you become. So this is what we're gonna do, so this is why we're doing this, this particular segment. And remember, I said it would be like 10 minutes, just something you can do on the day, every day of the time then you go about your business. So today, we're going to be doing a simple exercise like punches. You still want to stand in one spot, and then we'll punch for 20, then we'll go with power knee. We bring it up for 20, and we do that, then we'll go down and do what we call inch one, and that's like this. I'll demonstrate the exercise. We go down, go straight on, stay here, and come back up. Simple, you'd be shocked at the top of the ground, go down and come up, how difficult it is. Now let's start this. Are we ready guys? Okay, so let's go. It's easy. Bring your hand forward, tuck in your abs, and then we're gonna point for 20. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you punch, seven to my hands, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go there. One, two, three, four, five. Bring that leg up. Six. Get your hands. Meet them in the middle. Eight, nine, and ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Change leg. One, two. Three, watch, four, you bring it up, five, make sure that leg comes up, you see the hand, you travel, I'm knitting the middle here, that's and thereby working your abs as well. Where are we? Yeah. So we'll go down for the inch one. It's just a simple movement. You go down this way, I want to turn so you can see, you can see me. Move forward. There, stay there, shoulder over wrist, and three, your hands back, and you stand. Simple. Right? Well, let's try that. We're going for 10. Okay? Tell me, let's do this. Come on. I know some of us find it difficult to go down and get up. This is your chance to improve that. Ready? Let's go. Let's straight. There. That's one. You get up. Two. Three, seven more to go. Now, some people like to add a push up to this. Now, I want you to watch Patrick add a push up to his own. All right, yeah, watch what he's going to go into a push up is for those whose fitness level has gone up. Okay, now, if you don't, you can't do that. It's okay to just do this as well. All right, these guys are crazy. We'll do the simple one. I'll do, I'll do the simple one so you guys can watch. What's the number, guys? How many do we have left? How many? Four more. Okay, we have four more. So we're here. Let's do this. Making sure your legs are straight the whole time. That must be, this was, that, that's more than 10. All right, okay, so let's go for a second set of this. We're doing a second set, guys. Ready? Bring your hands again. Remember, I said you have to punch 20. When you punch, tighten this up. Cause the contraction here and just go. All right, let's go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
four, three, two, and one. We're going back to inch one. We need to make ten. Already? All right. Again, let's go. Keep your hands on legs. You can't. Then you fold your knee when you're going down, right? But otherwise, keep it straight like this, all right? See, I told you these guys are crazy. You don't need to do the push-up with it, okay? <laughs> they're, good. they're good at what they do, okay? So you can do the simple one. That's how many four? Okay, and that's six more. You can do the simple one. Stay here, shoulder over wrist, place your hand back forward and stand up. Don't soon. We have one more set to go. One more set to go. Ready? Three. Bring that hand up again. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten punches to go. Come on. That's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Remember I said, you bring your legs up. Then yeah, we're back to the challenging aspect of it. That the inch one. Are we ready? Okay, again. Remember, keep your knees, keep your knees straight. Go back. Those of you that are out there who are tougher, you can add yours. Okay, that's like five. We have five more to go. Good, good. You see, when you do this, like I said, it's just 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You can do this before you go and get into the shower. And then after that, you go about the rest of your business for the day. So we've come to the end of today's workout. And I'm sure if you enjoyed this, even if you didn't, try and join the lesson and enjoy it. So until I see you again, thank you very much. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff that I've always been intrigued by, you know, fitness and all of that. You look fit, so you must have them. Yes, and I, 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 have, I, have, I have a little secret. Wow. Yes. Part of my routine every day is to walk my three dogs oh, in the morning. Wow. So I do 30 minutes with each dog. I'm told that's a little over the top. And that's 90 minutes? 30 minutes, one with and a half dog. hours, 90 minutes mm. every morning. And that's what keeps me fit. I've actually just started. You want to back see my again. six packs? <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> On my fitness journey, and I work out three, four times a week now you know, for at least an hour and a half. Brilliant. Um, in a fitness class that I go to. So, yeah. No, with it's a friend very like important. That, your last guest. Yes. You can, you can be connected with someone like that. You can too. And not practice. You definitely you can. And even the serious. first guest. Mm, yes. Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy. Yes. Yes. For a 70-year-old. You sure. know, the, 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 the session we had with him, mm -hmm. I, I think would just pass as most inspiring. Yes, The for discussion sure. points, you know, even having to unpack him itself mm. was an yes. exercise yes. that I quite enjoyed. Yes. He unpacked yes. himself. I think he did, he did quite a <laughs> bit. It was, it was <laughs> awe-inspiring. I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen that side of him. Yes. You know, it, it was really something. Yes. Really. Yes. So, so we've had Charlie Boy. Yeah. And uh, just to remind our viewers that every week, every Saturday at this time, 9 o'clock, yeah? Yes. yes. We'll be bringing you stuff like this. And uh, I bet you're going to enjoy every minute of it. So today we've had Charlie Boy. Yes. And then we've gone to the professional, yes. Abimbola. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, who, who talked now about gave love us. and support, family yes. support. Yes. He talks about patience. Mm -hmm. And um, you, you don't generalize. The values for your family are different. You set the values for your family. Mm -hmm. Family, yes. it's not what obtains everywhere. Mm -hmm. So yes. you must, you must be, be deliberate about it yes. and work at what it is that will get you to the destination that you and your family members 
would like and to get. You see, the beauty of, of what happened was that we were able to relate mm. what we saw in the Charlie Boy segment with this, the analysis the specialist. Yeah. of the specialist. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, that was just awesome. Yeah. And then, of course, your, your sister. <laughs> Coach asked Dams. She lost 40 kg. 40 kg. How did she do that? 40 kg. And I know it's not a fluke because I saw her. I was at her wedding. And she talked about sleep. You know? And she talked yeah. about sleep. She talked about awesome. sleep. sleep. Yes. People forget how important sleep is. If you don't sleep well, mm. you know, a lot of things don't work out the way they're supposed to. Wow. Your, body, your body actually tells you. It, it's a lot of know? discipline. It's yes. a lot of discipline. It's a lot of hard work. And a lot of hard work yes. and determination. Yes. Because I say to myself, I would do it every day. And sometimes for a whole week, I haven't been out there. My face, I'm covered up <laughs> in shame. <laughs> that's why they, no, but that. that's why they call it a lifestyle I change. I am you know, So one yes. step at a time. Mm. You don't always get it right. But so far as you keep at it, you know. So, yes. Yes, that was awesome. Awesome. It really was. Awesome stuff. And it's for the benefit of everybody in the family. Yes, it is. You know, it exactly. connects. And it, it completely it, it connects on yeah. so many different levels. Yeah. You know, your health, your mental state of mind, your wellness, your interactions, your relationships. Mm. It really, really does Self connect. Self-confidence is you it. You know, exactly. You know, when, when, you, when you love you, when you yep. get to that point yep. where you love you, yep. you, Great. Know, you yep. can just achieve Great stuff, so much. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm just elated that you're all you know, you're, you're all um, fulfilled. Yeah. Well, <laughs> fulfilled with the session today. Yeah. Now, the, the, the icing on the cake. Okay. Now is going to be one of my quotes. All right. Where is one it? One of my quotes. And um, first, I'll explain the background to this. You know, as a, an executive speech skills coach, I have um, decided that at every session, I'm going to give you a quote. You know, for public speaking. And today's quote is that no one person is born afraid of speaking. The fear of public speaking is acquired. No one person is born afraid of speaking. That fear of public speaking is acquired. Hmm. Ask That's me deep. any questions. That's deep. No, no, but it's, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> it is. It is yes. self-explanatory. But I'll, I'll try and break it down a bit. Mm. I'll break it down a bit in the sense that what this happens pra to practice us... Practice makes perfect. Yes, what happens to us is that most times when we go for speaking engagements, mm. we, we pack too many luggages. Mm. Will I fall? Will they clap? Will mm. they applaud? Mm. Right? So those are all mm. acquired. Mm. And we have to try and get away from that. That makes and, so much and sense. And that is my tip on public speaking. And fear, for this week. fear awesome. is the enemy. Awesome. It's an enemy of public speaking. It really Abby? is. Yeah. Fear is. It is. Yes. And so we must kick fear out. And so, um, everything we do is actually talking. The communication in the family, at, in the workplace and all of it. It's not just when you're paid to go and um, deliver a speech that is public speaking. You know, you're expressing and sharing information 247. Yes. And that's the show today. Today with John and Helen, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself and I hope that you have too. Yes, you have something to share with the viewers. Quickly. Just very quickly, our second guest, Abimbola Shomolu, has given this book, For the Love of Family. Family. She's going to be giving it out to, we are going to be giving it out to one of our guests um, via social media. So please join us at at plus TV Africa.